Howdy. All right. So today is uh, Tuesday, May 17th. Um, my birthday is Thursday, May 19th, just so everybody knows. I'll be 20. Um, I am like over two years on testosterone. I started testosterone in January of 2009, so you can do the math of that, and I'm um, like a year and four months post-op. Um, I just wanted to make a quick update video. Uh, I just made one, and it wasn't so quick, so I'm condensing right now. Um, I just had my hysterectomy consult, which I was very nervous about, but I'm going to one of the best guys in the country for it. Um, he's got a lovely accent, and he's very nice. He told me uh, he's done, you know, the full, complete hysterectomy, removal of cervix, uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes, all of that. Um, laparoscopically, which is like robotically, just like a few incisions on either side of your belly button and one in your belly button. Um, and he's graded it. He said it takes an hour. You can be out of the hospital that day. It's about two weeks of being filled with gas and all bloaty and nasty. But um, anyway, he was so friendly, and I'm much less nervous about it now than I was before. Um, I was concerned because I'd never actually been to a gynecologist, so um, I never had an exam, and I thought maybe he was going to require that, and I'd have to go do that, but that's like dysphoria all over the place. However, there are a lot of trans-friendly gynecologists. I got recommended to a few. Um, I never ended up going because I had more... Um, imminent like issues here uh, involving I have a cyst on one of my ovaries that's like dispelling estrogen causing my estrogen counts to raise which is why I raised my testosterone dose um, by 160 uh, percent like four months ago which is giving me like all these crazy new changes which is why I'm gonna make a testosterone video right after this one um, but anyway what else um, so that went really well and honestly like for guys who are over 18 um, or having any sort of problems with things um, it's really important that you do do the whole gynecological, gynecological thing. Um, I can't speak from personal experience, but I can say that I know a bunch of trans guys who have gone and survived, and it was great, and they got things looked at, and everything's fine. So, um, and there's a lot of trans-friendly ones out there that are really disrespectful, or <laughs> really respectful. Trans-friendly ones that are really disrespectful. No, they're really respectful. Um, bad, bad, like, little slip there. But, um, it's important because if you do have a problem down there, like, it, you know, you don't want that to be what <laughs> kills you or anything. Um, so unless you plan on getting like a hysterectomy, a complete full hysterectomy and oophorectomy, um, it's important to get checked on that. Um, just my shameless plug for that because I care about the well-being of people and although it's a body part that many trans guys um, are very dysphoric about and like men, and I say many because a lot are totally fine with it, but um, a lot of the ones I've talked to are very uncomfortable with it um, and periods are just the end of the world and all this stuff. So, um, it's important just to address it because it's kind of like, it's, you know, it's a problem and it sucks, but if you ignore it, you know, it can just get worse and then it's just going to be like even worse. So, um, that was so eloquent, so eloquent. Anyway, so that aside, uh, hopefully we'll get my hysterectomy in July, um, if insurance covers it, which they said they would if the letter says it's medically necessary. So we'll see. He said he would submit it and then we can schedule a date. So, um, it's great. It says it only takes an hour. Just, oh, just so excited. Uh, for me, I consider that to be the final step in my um, surgeries of my transition at this time. So that's the deal with that. I have not had bottom, the bottom surgery or the surgery or whatever you want to call it. I've had a mastectomy and I'm getting a hysterectomy, oophorectomy. That's that. Um, in other news, because uh, for those who follow my blog, um, Tumblr, um, a few people have asked me lately, like, how's Olga doing, or, like, do we break up? And we did break up. Um, it's a more, it's a recent thing. It isn't something that I've been, like, hiding for a while or anything. Um, but we're gonna be friends. It has nothing to do with my transition. It has nothing to do with me being transgender. Um, so the, the, all those beliefs are aside. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing okay, and that's all that matters. And, um, we're gonna be friends in the end. She's a great person, and... It wasn't like we had a huge fight and like went down like in arms like beating each other up over it. So um, I think it's gonna be okay. And I just wanted to put can't really speak for her anymore. So just wanted to say like you know anything like asking about how my girlfriend handled things. Like I currently don't have a girlfriend, so I'd prefer not to answer questions about. Um, I'd prefer not to answer questions about my past with my girlfriend either. Just and just out of respect, I'd prefer if people didn't ask me about it. Um, about like any more reasons why we broke up. That's my personal life. It's personal. I would like to keep it that way, um, and I don't want any, like, I'm sorry, like, move on, like, things will be great, like, you're so cute, blah, 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 I'd date you. I don't particularly want any of that either because um, I'm taking time to find myself, and it's going really well. So, that aside, um, what else is new? I wrapped up my semester. I did really great in my classes. I'm taking uh, two summer classes for the month of June, which is going to be great. 
Um, been playing a lot of guitar. I played a concert for my friends. It was great. I've made new friends. I've been cleaning a lot. I've just been so busy. It's great, but I'm um, feeling really good. Oh, I've been working out a lot. Let me just show you that real quick because I did talk about being post-op. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to mention this in my testosterone video, but testosterone does not magically give you muscle. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Um, so I've been working out, and as a vegan, it's hard for me to get muscle because I, I barely get enough uh, protein like, um, as is, but I've been trying my hardest to get natural sources of protein. So, and this is what, okay, my scars look pretty good. Um, so I'm feeling really good about my body, let's see. Let me back up so you can just see better, because I don't think I've ever shown you, uh, my whole body. Um, just for, like, clarity's sake, I am about five foot seven. um, and right now I weigh between 135 and 138 pounds, something like that. Which, um, when I started testosterone, I weighed, uh, I weighed, what did I weigh? I was like 133 pounds, I think. Um, but, you know, I'm also growing. It's been two years. I should gain weight. And at my peak, which was the end of last year, I think I weighed 145 pounds. Right after surgery, I weighed 130 pounds. So the most I've weighed on testosterone, I think one time I got up to like 148, which was after... Uh, freshman year of college, and uh, lately being a vegan and doing a lot of cardio, um, running a lot, I've lost weight, and I'm actually down, yeah, to about 137, I think, this morning, um, and this is a good weight for me. I'm a little, like, I'm a little skinny, but I'm trying to build muscle on top of it, so I've lost a lot of, like, the fat that uh, I gained initially on testosterone, but I'm going to say that in my next video on testosterone anyway. Um, and what else? Uh, the other day, or, like, back when I was at school, I hung out, uh, outside shirtless, shirtless, with, um, one of my friends, and I'm just gonna post a picture of that right here. Because I think we look really adorable, <laughs> um, and he's one of my best friends, I'm living with him next year, so I really like him, and I can't wait to get closer to him, so... I'm so excited. But anyway, um, so that was a lovely experience, and yeah, things overall doing really well, um doing really well. So it's good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head out for now because this is getting just as long as my last update. Just, oh man, I just keep talking and talking. But, um, oh, one more thing is that I haven't been able to get to my YouTube inbox of questions. I have 250 of them sitting there and I'm so busy and I really want to help people and I really want to get to them and I will eventually, I will eventually do it and I read everything and I read all my comments, you know, even the awful comments that I get in my videos sometimes that are just awful. But anyway, uh, those aside, I read all the really nice comments too and I really appreciate them. So even if I don't respond, I do appreciate things. Um, and I really want to get back to my inbox and I'm going to try my hardest to do so. That is something that I really want to do because I do care about what people have to say and I want to help people with their situations. Um, but it's really backed up right now. So that's why you haven't heard from me and I apologize. Uh, I just need like a little bit of respect knowing that like, you know, I just finished up one of the hardest years of my entire life. Um, and I'm going through a lot right now, but, um, I'm getting into a new, a new good place. So yeah. That's that, um, and I'll be able to address this. So, all right, no, another video is coming. So, oh, wait, one more thing. I made a video, I made a Vimeo account, and I uploaded a legitimate video video, because um, I want to do some film and sound work. So I'll post a link to that, and I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, all right. Um, oh, Jesus, this is so long. All right, <laughs> peace. <laughs> Take care, everybody.